Hello, my fellow fans of Faerun, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, the core campaign. Last time, we invaded a wizard's ancient lab and stole a precious artifact that was stolen from one of our contacts as we're looking for the words of power. Now, today, we're going to take a little bit of a sidetrack and just go ahead and clean up the cold wood, which is one of the forests that surrounds our hub city of Berenna's Well, and there was a path to the north up here, so I'm going to check this out, and see where it leads us to. And it looks like a undead infested part of the cold wood, not surprising. I love this part! This part was supposed to be in the spine of the world, but I think this leads to a larger dungeon complex. But I'll look around, and if that's the case, we'll take a couple of episodes to explore the dungeon. Okay, and we got a zombie lord here who has all his spells up. You'll also notice that I went ahead and picked up Tomy and switched out Sharwin because we finished Sharwin's item fetch quest for this chapter. And so now I need to do that for Tomy as well. I've already made sure to have him an appropriate level. And we'll be talking to him later. But until then, we have these piles of skulls, which are all going to turn into undead creatures. So, let's see if I can turn any of them. Nope. Alright, so we've got four skeleton warriors and the chieftain. We'll just go ahead and take out the chieftain quick. The Skeleton Warrior shouldn't be that big of a problem for me at this point. They're still going to get some good hits in. Especially if I refuse to actually use a weapon that's effective against them, such as my Cudgel. Instead, I just want to hit him with my Scythe. Okay, getting kind of hurt, so I'm going to go ahead and pot up. I think most of these skeletons are just going to drop large bones, which I still have a number of empty wands, so I don't have to pick them up at the moment. I do probably want to craft a new wand of knock here soon, though. I am getting kind of low on the charges. I don't think all the corpses rise, but I think some of them might. But yeah, we'll just skirt around. And here we have a vampire warrior. And he is hurting a lot. So let's go ahead and throw up our defensive spell. And get out of combat for a second. And... I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with a spell. Because, you know, I am a wizard. We won't all walk away from suck this. it, vampire. I mean, don't suck it. Because it would be my blood, and I like my blood. Right where it is. Okay, so... Some studded leather armor that will sell because I have better armor. I went ahead and traveled to Verena's well too. And while I was picking up Tell Me, I went ahead and just uh, sold off all of the stuff I'm not using anymore and the woefully under-leveled weapons from Chapter One. Well, most of them. I kept the Astral Sword. Because sometimes it's still really good, just because it does psychic damage. Alright, 
So we have a warrior mummy and a revenant. But these guys aren't nearly as bad as the vampire, so they go down pretty quick. I check this body. My short-term memory sucks, guys, so I'm sorry if I check and recheck things. And that's probably a wand of oh, wand of paralyzation. At this point, probably as effective as a wand of sleep, but uh, maybe there's some use for it, even if that use is just another couple of hundred gold. Now I will say I'm not really saving up for anything at this point. I've pretty much... Yep, this is the temple for... Uh, the vendor in the city. Like I said, I thought it was in another area, but uh, I guess I was mistaken. And that happens. So, I've re-equipped Tomy's present okay, okay. in the Ring of the Rogue, which I forgot I had unequipped, and that should make it possible for me to do rogue things again, like disarming traps and unlocking doors, but uh, I do so at the expense of elemental resistances. So, when I do start fighting dragons... Okay, magic bullets. Uh, anyways, when I do start fighting dragons, I'll probably switch them back out. Okay, we got some more... Nope. A vampire warrior, a zombie warrior, and a doom knight. That sounds tough. Let's uh, go ahead and preemptively ghostly visage. And he stunned me. Stunned sucks. So I'm just gonna wait here and watch Tommy get. Well, watch the Doom Knight shoot fireballs at me. Okay. I think he just disenchanted his, uh,. Stun, but that's fine. Take it. I actually think the vampire warrior was probably worse. Oh well. Okay, let's just make sure I searched everything here. Oh, I hadn't searched this. That's an acid arrow. Could be useful for some long range combat. You also notice that I did not pick up uh, Dalen. It's because I am saving him for the area that I'm going to absolutely need a warrior, and that is in the third part of this uh, chapter. And I'm not just going to be fighting one dragon, I have to fight multiples. So. Well, go ahead and get uh, Tommy out of the way, and probably um, body knock out of the way too. And then we'll either team up with uh, Linu or Daywin for the rest of the well, for the rest of the game, really. I haven't decided which one I kind of want more, because there is an interesting uh, set of extra dialogue if you take either, if you're a male player and you take either Charwin or uh, Daywin with you, or not Daywin, Charwin or Linu with you, uh, you can start a romance with either of those characters. And I assume if you're a female character, you can attempt to start a romance with Dalen, maybe Tomy, but I haven't actually gone through this game as a female character, so. OK, 
Okay, just a little bit more area to clear out before we go ahead and head into the dungeon. I'm just making sure to get all of the reward, all the treasure, and all of the experience. Okay, we've got a group of ghasts and fools. Now, these are nothing that we have really not encountered before, so most of these should go down pretty quick. The fortitude save should be high enough that I don't have to worry about getting paralyzed. And we take out those, and finally the Lord. They were guarding whatever was in these chests. And they are all locked, so I am going to go ahead and knock. Alright, with them all unlocked, I'm going to start uh, opening them. I'm going to start with these small ones and work my way to the big one, because I am not sure if the big one is trapped or not. And usually that's where they put the super dangerous traps are on those. Okay, looks safe. And just some gold. Not gonna turn down gold, but nothing that's gonna replace any pieces of my equipment. Okay. And we have a vampire champion. Woohoo! So let's go ahead and beat up on that. Oh, she has damage reduction. Well, I'll go ahead and move into my dagger. Just because it does really well against stone skinned people. Goes. Now let's get out of this cloud of death. Okay, so she was probably the most difficult creature here. And that's a second rod of reversal, so now I can use up the one I had previously. Okay, and Return of the Beast, that's a silver book, so I don't really care about it. It's just world building stuff, nothing that has to do with my quest. But, before we enter this, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode today, I think. Uh, I don't want to get too far into this dungeon complex, because if I remember correctly, it is, although it's only one floor, it is kind of uh, expansive. So, but before I call it the end of the episode, tell me... Tell me what I'm looking for in this chapter for you. Eh? What can Tommy do for you? I just want to talk. Oi? What did you have in mind, my lord? Have you always been a rogue, Tommy? Well, funny you should ask that, my lord. I was an urchin on the streets of Kalimpur, first and foremost, and that's where I learned my street smarts. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, when I was a tender young lad, a kindly human wizard saw great promise in me and took me in. I was his apprentice, in fact, for quite some time. Uh, that's where I met my best friend Sammy, after all. He was another apprentice. I would have been a full wizard myself if things had worked out. What went wrong? Well, you know... You can take the lad out of the street, but you can't take the street out of the lad. I wasn't much for books and studying and all. Uh, that wizard, what was his name? Halasar? He saw something in me I never saw. Said I would make a wizard whether I liked it or not. I thought I would make a wonderful thief if I could be invisible and fly around all the time. I just couldn't wait. Halasa had all these pretty things in his tower, unfortunately. And just stole them. Of course I stole them. 
kind of rogue do you think I am? Got a good price on the streets, too. Even if Halasa beat me black and blue by the time I returned. Once I swiped Halasa's spellbook and sold that for a pretty price. Boy, was the old man furious. There was a storm of ruin around his tower by the time I got back. Of course, I had to lie and say that Sammy took the book. Hmm. Come to think of it, that's how Sammy got kicked out of his apprenticeship. You got your friend kicked out. Well, he wasn't much of a wizard, and old Sammy wasn't my friend back then. Anyway, I made it up to him by becoming his pal later, once I stopped being an apprentice. <laughs> The end of my apprenticeship is quite the story itself. I should tell you that sometime, my lord, if you're interested. That would be later, though. Right now, we got a city to save, right? And with that, thank you for joining me as always, and thank you for putting up with my terrible attempts at Tommy's accent. I know, it's painful for me too when I hear it just kind of drift into southern but sorry but like i said thank you for joining me and i'll see you guys next time and we'll tackle this dungeon see you then